Yes, yes, boys, this is Kizan here, aka Free to Play When There's No Sales Up, and I'm back here with another Dokken video. Now, when I did my last Dokken video talking about the Blue Dragon Stone and the best way to spend it, a lot of people like that, so it's time to do the same, but with the free to play variant with the red dragon stone. Now I will be going over what is the best option to go for, which, you know, even if you're going for dupes, if you're free to play, if you've got loads of units, I will be talking about all of those options. So if you do enjoy darkened content in general, or if you do get anything from here, I just want to remind you guys, hit that like and subscribe, because we're trying to hit 300 subscribers. Not the Spartans, we're trying to be part of 300 though, so that is that. Anyways, let's go to the exchange, let's go to the treasure, and let's have a look at the God Dragonstone 11. Now, everyone got one of these for Christmas, you know, thank you Darken for the Christmas present. But let's see what's the best ones to go for on this one, I will be talking about the best options. So, but first, at the bottom they always do this. There is a lot of units here that are non Dokken Fest exclusives and what I mean by this is this unit, this unit, this unit all the way up to about, about, god there's a lot of them, till around about here. So all this unit till this unit, they are, or the, that unit, they are all non Dokken Fest exclusive. Now what this means is when you summon on any banner, you have a chance of getting one of these units in the 10th slot. Now what that mainly means is that it's not worth you wasting this Dragonstone on these units when you could get them at any point. So I would definitely hold off picking any of these guys even if you are really, really wanting some. I guess the one I could probably recommend is... I do like Metal Caller, but even though I can't recommend that, you know, just don't do it. It'll be a waste of your Dragonstone. Let Go for them Darken first. Go for them Darken first. So without further ado, let's start talking about the options here. So, first of all, we have one of the better ones in my opinions, which is going to be the Extreme Physical Kid Boo. Now, while I'm talking about him, I will show you off him, you know, fully awakened and everything with his EZA. Because most, well, nearly all of these units EZA. So here he is when he's fully EZA, and this guy is amazing. This guy is literally broken as hell because look at that passive. All allies key plus two attack and defense 50% when your HP is above 80%. And if it drops a bit lower, you just get attack and defense 30%. But you know what? That is okay. This guy is incredible because you don't need a lot of dupes in this guy. You get this guy to boost up the rest of your team. He is so nice. I would definitely recommend going for him if you run any of his specific categories, you know, daily. So I'm talking about if you run T-Boost, like if you're using Strength Cooler's team, this guy should be on float, easy 8 up. Same thing with Majin Buu Saga, Resi Warriors, this guy fits anywhere you can fit this guy, he needs to be there. So, even though he is the first one I am talking about, I cannot recommend him enough. But, if you already have him, you do not get a dupe of him. Do not get a dupe of him. Because he is a support unit at the end of the day. Dupes are just a bit nice to have on him, they're not crucial. So, really nice one if you haven't got him already, definitely would recommend, even for free to play players. Because he will always come in useful eventually. Because his easy A is really easy to do as well. Super strength or pure science. Really easy units to get. Okay, now we got the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Now I can go straight to how he is when he is awakened. Because you know I got all these units. You know your boys got all these units. Now, the thing about this guy is... Uh, if I can find him. Where are you Vegeta? Uh, I definitely have him, right? Super Saiyan 3. Okay, yeah, that was my bad. Okay, so, anyways, this guy is okay. This guy is only really worth getting, in my opinion, if you are really struggling on Super Saiyan 3 Super Battle Road. That is the only option I could say about this guy. And yes, yeah, Super Strength as well. So, Super Strength Extreme Battle Road, or like, 
Super Saiyan 3 Super Battle Road is the place for this guy, mainly because if I have a look at that passive, reduced damage received by 80% for 10 turns. And he gets a bit of an attack boost when the enemy is stunned, but you're mainly summoning him or using him for that damage reduction. And that's a lot of damage reduction, 80%. That's crazy, and yes it is only 10 turns, so LGE, no, Infinite Dragon Ball History, no, but Super Battle Road, yes, the fights don't really last over 10 turns at a time, and I think this guy is definitely the one to go for in that regard if you are struggling on those two only, although think about it hard because he's not a must have, and if you are really struggling, like if those are the last SBRs left for you, like Super Saiyan 3, then maybe go ahead. But I wouldn't put him high up on the recommendation unless he's kind of like a necessity. Okay, okay, let's move up. Int Janemba. He is insanely good. Insanely good. Although, he probably will be getting replaced when the Extreme Strength Janemba does get his EZA, which is going to be sooner rather than later. Now if I go and show you what he is about, where is he, I'm checking Extreme Strength, Extreme Int Janemba right here, going to be at the top isn't it? Uh, where is, I'm a, I think I'm just blind today, I don't know what it is, but, so this guy is incredible, attack and defense 70%, but he guards against the every attack. You never get that everywhere. Guards against everything. Like Tech Gohan. Man's broken. Get hit once. You got that attack buff for four turns. And you know. He has a medium chance to dodge also. Like you don't get that on many units. But this guy. Even though yeah. The extreme strength one may get an easy A. Sometimes it's better just to get this guy if you need him. And uh, same again. Any SBR that this guy can fit on. He is going to be such a nice help. Such a nice help. You don't even understand. So, again, but he is unfortunately only on two teams. So, movie bosses and probably extreme into SPR is the main places you will use this guy. Really nice link set also, especially for the teams he's on. So, all in all, a really nice unit. I could recommend him pretty high. Tech Beerus, no. Not Tech Beerus. We have physical Beerus out already. He is redundant already. Nope. Extreme physical, full power freezer. I like the unit, I really do, but he's been replaced by an LR already. And even with his 30% defense in the first slot, it's not enough. It's really not enough. So unfortunately, I like him, but he has no space on many teams. He doesn't help much in SBR. I can't recommend you getting him. Strength Broly now. This one's a bit weird. This one is a really weird choice. I would not recommend him. The only thing I could ever recommend this guy for is like if you were really struggling in World Tournament. It sounds really weird but that's the only way I could ever recommend this guy but you must be really really struggling. I'm talking about zero AoE units. Zero AoE units, then maybe you can buy this guy and have a bit more of a chance, get his EZA done. EZA is not the easiest, but you know, if you can get that done, you can run this guy. And that. so, again, it's only for a small amount of content. If you got him, that's alright, but I would not recommend it. Same thing with this guy. He's okay, but he's not all that. I mean, yeah, he's got the stack going on, you know, he's doing a bit okay. Although, the strength Gohan still is not that bad, and you never really find space. For this guy on any of the particular teams. Yeah, you don't find space for this guy on Majibu Saga, Sibling Bond, Goku Family, Revenge, Rapid Growth, say like you can't find space for this guy. I would not recommend in Ultimate Gohan. Unfortunately, unfortunately. Texel now. Texel is not a bad choice, honestly. People are probably gonna think I was gonna trash Texel. He's good. The only problem with Texel is that honestly. He's just, he needs orbs. He needs orbs. And the worst thing about it is like, if you can't get him those orbs, he doesn't do much. But he does stack attack and defense on every orb once he's awakened. You know, he does it a bit here as well. But I'm talking about the easy aid up, everything like that. I'm talking about these units when they are easy aid as well. But this guy's pretty good, honestly. Only get him if you're really struggling on extreme tech SBRs. Because extreme tech is like the worst typing in existence extreme tech is so you may be struggling on extreme tech 
That's the only justification I can give for this guy is if you're struggling that badly, get him. Can't recommend it. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, honestly a solid unit. He has been replaced by an LR like time ago. But even then he can still get to like some alright attack stats. You know, he does only land last for like five or seven turns again, so you can't really use him on long events. But you know he's an okay unit, he's pretty fun, it's just LR's replaced him. Like uh, nothing more I can say about that. So if you if you ever do get lucky and pull the LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku or you have LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, this is a waste, unfortunately. I mean, yes, he can help in Super AGL, but there are better Super AGL options than this guy for SBR and the sort. Unfortunately, cannot recommend him. And then we have Super Gogeta. Okay, so Super Gogeta is ridiculous. Ridiculous. He is the powerhouse. Unfortunately, he just did get replaced on JP with the Int Gogeta getting his EZA. But if you don't have Int Gogeta, this is the next best thing for a Super Gogeta, of course. So this guy is pretty good. He's got a good leader skill. EZA may be a bit difficult for some of you, but if you have all of these units or most of these units, I would recommend you getting a dupe of this guy if you need it. First or second dupe, really nice in this guy. Or if you haven't got any of these guys, I would say probably this guy again. If you got this guy already but you don't have a copy of this guy, I would say get this guy. And then when I talked about the specific SBRs that you may need these other units for, then that's when you would dip into those. So I think I've gone through many of the stuff. Yes, if you've got everything rainbow, you will obviously go for this. So again, <laughs> you know, that's for the big whales out there, big whales. So that is it, boys. I will probably spend mine a bit later on. I have most of these guys rainbow, as most of you know. And hopefully this video was here to help some of you guys spend that God Dragonstone 11. I think that's the name. So then again, if this did help you out or you did get any information, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. This is Kizan aka free to play when there's no sales and I'll see you on the next Darken video. Also there is a link below to my stream. I do stream like four days a week, four or five days a week. Don't forget to click on that and I'll see you next time. I'll see you next time in a bit dudes and have a good one.